you're looking right now at the um, anterior surface of the thigh right here so this is the anterior surface and then this would be the inside of your thigh so right here the inside of your thigh and then you go back here this would be the posterior surface of the thigh so this is the posterior surface so we're going to start first from the anterior surface so from the anterior surface, once you find this sartorius muscle right here, it's really long, and then it goes from the anterior surface, crosses over to uh, the medial surface. Um, once you find this sartorius muscle, it kind of uh, will divide the thigh into multiple sections. So right here, this is the anterior part. It has the quadriceps muscle. The quadriceps muscle is made up of four muscles. This one straight through the middle, this is the um, rectus femoris. So this is the rectus femoris. And then this right now is the vastus medialis. You know it's the vastus medialis because it's on the inside of the thigh or it's on the big toe um, side. So rectus femoris, vastus medialis, vastus lateralis. And if you're trying to find the vastus intermedius, then that would be under the rectus femoris. So right here. This right now is the vastus intermedius. So for the quadriceps muscle, you have vastus medialis, vastus intermedius, vastus lateralis, and then on the top, you have the rectus femoris muscle. So this is the rectus femoris muscle, and that covers kind of the anterior surface. Now, this was the sartorius muscle, the really long one. So this is the sartorius muscle. And then when you're looking at the inside of the thigh, you have a few muscles to remember. Um, these are going to be mainly the adductor muscles. So this one is straight through the middle. This is the ad uh, gracilis. So this is the gracilis muscle. This right now, this is the adductor longus. And then this is the adductor magnus, and it comes down here, okay? So this is adductor longus, adductor magnus, and gracilis muscle. You also have underneath the sartorius there, this iliopsoas muscle. So if I take this out, if I can, okay. So you can see the iliopsoas muscle there, well, this. So that's the iliopsoas muscle. The iliopsoas muscle is uh, the meaning of the psoas major and the iliacus muscle. But on this model, you can only see the iliopsoas. So you can't see them before they meet up. So again, on the adductor side or the inside of your thigh, you have this gracilis muscle, this adductor longus muscle, and then these two, or this one, is the adductor magnus muscle. And of course, don't forget the sartorius that divides the two sections. Okay, so let's look at the posterior surface. The one that is most obvious is right here. So this is the gluteus maximus. This is the gluteus maximus muscle. And once you take that off, you will find the gluteus medius muscle right here. So you had the gluteus maximus, and then this was the gluteus medius. And that's it for, um, for the glutes muscle. Okay, so back here, this is where you will find the uh, hamstring muscles. So you have the three muscles there. This one right now is the biceps femoris, and what you're looking at is the, sh uh, is the long head. The short head will be right underneath, and I'll pull that out so you can see it. But this right now is the biceps femoris. This is the semitendinosus muscle, so this is the semitendinosus, and what you can see from the sides underneath it is the semimembranosus muscle. So this is, you can think that the semitendinosus is on the top. So semitendinosus, and then this is semimembranosus, and then again, this is the um, biceps femoris long head. And when you're trying to find the short head, so, this will be the short head of the biceps femoris. So you can see it underneath. So that's the short head of the biceps femoris, and then you have the long head on top of it. Okay. All right. Um, so that is it for the hamstring muscles there. Uh, when you're looking at the lateral surface, uh, there isn't really that much that you need to know. Just remember that you have this vastus lateralis. So this is still vastus lateralis that you can see. And then this is the iliotibial tract coming down. So this white part, this is the iliotibial tract. 
And then lastly, you have this muscle on the top, which is the tensor fasciae latae. Okay, so tensor fasciae latae. And then coming down, this is the iliotibial tract. And then like I said, um, this is still the continuation. This is still the continuation of this vastus lateralis muscle, which is a part of your quadriceps muscle. And that should cover everything for the thigh. So let's move on to the leg. Okay, so for the leg, we're going to start from the anterior surface. So right now you're looking at this tibia. So this is the tibia. Um, and so you have right next to the tibia, you have this muscle, which is the tibialis anterior. So right here, this is the tibialis anterior. And then next to that, next to that, this muscle right here, which is the extensor digitorum longus. So you can see it's coming down and then going towards your digits. So this is the extensor digitorum longus, while this is the extensor hallucis longus. So you can see it's going to come down and then go towards your hallux. So tibialis anterior and then extensor Poly, uh, I'm sorry, extensor digitorum longus, and then extensor hallucis longus. And then you keep going. Uh, so this will be the fibularis longus. You can see that this is the fibula. So this would be the fibularis longus muscle. And then this is the fibularis brevis muscle. So fibularis longus, fibularis brevis right here. And that really covers the anterior surface or the extensor surface of the leg. So, um, Opposite to the arm, the arm had the anterior surface as the flexor side, the leg will have the, um, the posterior surface as its flexor side. So this right now is the posterior surface of the leg or its flexor side. The first muscle that you can see that's very easy um, to identify is this calf muscle or the gastrocnemius. So this is the gastrocnemius and then it comes down with this calcaneal tendon right here. So you can see it's the calcaneal tendon because it's attached to your heel bone, which is the calcaneus bone. So calcaneal tendon, um, and then this is calcaneus bone. So you have the gastrocnemius. The gastrocnemius has two heads, the medial head and the lateral head. Remember, you can identify this to be the medial head because this um, right now is the big toe side. So this is the big toe. So the big toe would be medial head and then lateral head. Now, once you take off this part, of the um, gastrocnemius or the medial head of the gastrocnemius, that's when you're able to see, that's when you're able to see the soleus muscle. So right now, this is the soleus muscle. So I took off this um, medial head of the biceps, uh, I'm sorry, the medial head of the gastrocnemius, and then this is the soleus right now. So that's the soleus muscle. So um, let's take off this part as well so that we're able to see more of the flexor muscles. So now um, what happened is I'm still looking at the flexor side of your leg. I took off the gastrocnemius, the lateral head and the medial head, took off the soleus muscle, and now we are looking at what's underneath on the flexor side. So the first one, remember that the back of your leg is the popliteal region. So this right now is the popliteal region, and you can see this popliteus muscle. So this right now is the popliteus muscle. Underneath it, you have this tibialis posterior muscle. So that's the tibialis posterior. And then lastly, you have two flexor muscles. There is this one and this one. So this one right here coming down, and then this one right here. So um, this one that looks like it's going towards your hallux is actually the flexor digitorum longus. And then this is the flexor hallucis longus. So pobliteus, tibialis posterior, flexor hallucis longus, Flexor digitorum, digitorum longus. Um, the reason they're flipped the other way around is that after they pass over the medial malleolus, they actually flip. So this one, the flexor hallucis longus, will go towards the hallux, and then this flexor digitorum will go towards the rest of the digits. And um, that should cover everything on the posterior surface um, of the leg. So you had these flexor side, and then you know you start to go back towards the anterior surface with the fibularis. Um, longus and brevis and then so on and that covers everything.